you can do on but, a um, cash price. No commissions, and uh, we get this thing done for you. No, uh, would you do five fifty? Five fifty. But the biggest thing is one, we would need to make sure that we could rent it. I mean, that would be the elephant in the room. And then secondly, we would have to agree on a price. So if there was a way that we can come up to 550,000 or something pretty close to that, if we had to structure something creative, is that something you would be open to? In terms of creative, what do you mean, sir? Can you hear me? I don't know. If you don't know who I am by now, I don't know what you've been doing. You've been sleep. Let me wake you up with something straight up. Yeah. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm Chris Monroe. R to the O E. I flip houses, rent cars, and make money. You know I'm not no motherfucking dummy. This is how we do. Yep, you can do some owner financing. You can do subject to deals. You can do cash deals. You can do all types of deals, but. I don't really want to mess with that at all because it's just not my area, not the area. I like to be in good areas, good school districts where you can grow and have a family, you know, where you can actually have people who can walk their dog, people who can walk and work out in the neighborhood and don't have to worry about getting hit with a straight bullet. So that's just my thought. Maybe I shouldn't say that, but that's what I think. Sometimes you just got to say what you think and think what you say. And go out here and make that pay so if you are actually looking to learn more about getting into the real estate game and doing deals and how to underwrite the deals figure out what your offer is and how to find and uh, gather leads you can simply do that by so i want to get into real estate but don't know where to start well what i would say is to join the future cash flow club it's a community of investors where we talk about wholesaling we talk about creative deal structuring buying houses subject to all of the creative stuff that everybody's talking about you don't need a real estate license or any of that wow where do i sign up well i would say go to futurecashflowclub.com that's futurecashflowclub.com you can even get a free trial try it out today Boom. So future cash flow club. You get the paperwork to make the paperwork, the training, and everything you need to get out here and get to gaining. So check that out. You can even get a free trial. So here we go. We got the uh next caller up for bid was the one I was just speaking about before that call. Asking price of five hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Yeah, dingy doodle. Is that house even worth it? Let me check something right quick. It might be worth every penny. It could be be worth every penny. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. So that house out in Grover, Missouri. Um, is this the right thing? So Something did sell over there. Three bedroom, three bath. Just sold for five fifty. Another one sold for four fifteen. Another one sold for four nineteen. Another one sold for three ninety. Another one sold for five fifty. So they do have. Well, I don't know. That was back in November of twenty twenty three when this one sold for five fifty. So we really don't want to use that as a comp because that's more than six months. They can use it for appraising and things like that. But let me go back. So. There's at least one on here, two on here. So there's another one. This was sold in April, April 5th, 2024 for 550. So 550 could be the real number. Okay. So let's call him up. I mean, I wouldn't give him five. Well, he want 575, my bad. He want more than what they selling for still. He want 25,000 over what they're selling for. I mean, it's a nice house, but uh, yeah, we gonna see how this go. Ah, oh, and the other issue is this is a 55 and up community, senior community. So that, that limits your buyers. If you're not over 55 years old, you can't even live here. And it probably got HOAs and all this other stuff. So I'll call them anyway, just as they're in the pipeline here. But I don't think anything's going to come with this, to be honest. 
That's my thought, but I shouldn't think that. Should I think that or shouldn't I think that? I think it's good to think that because you'll kind of pull away without being thirsty. Because you don't want to sound thirsty on the phone with these people. Thirst trap. So let's call Mr. What was his name? Thomas. Let's call Tom. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Tom. Tom and Jen. Give it a like, give it a share. This is Tom, may I help you? Hey Tom, this is Chris calling about your property here in St. Louis. Uh, did you get it sold yet? Uh, not yet, sir. All right, well, I might. Any questions? Quiet. <laughs> How are you today? Very cool. I'm doing wonderful, man. Thank you. Well, good, good. I'm glad I can reach you here and uh, see what we can do to help you out. Um, is this a, let's see here. It's saying something about there's a senior living or something. So whoever lives here have to be a senior. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's 55 and older community. Oh, wow. I got a few years. I'm not 55 yet. But I am an investor. You think this would be a good property for an investor to buy? Uh, they sell real fast. Like you say, they... Okay, perfect, perfect. They move really good, and people love it when they stay there. My folks were there for 13 years, and they just moved to an assisted living home. Oh. So I put it on the market, cleaned it out, put it on the market, and you're going to sell it for them? So they can pay for their assisted living. All right, makes sense. It's, it's, that's expensive too. That is assisted living, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, I think I think uh, they make all the money in that side of the real estate, that assisted living. But that's we all got to go one day, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's so, really expensive for two of them. <laughs> oh, they are oh, they charge them both individually, huh? Well, there's a little bit of a break, but it's. It's not buy one, get one free. We'll just say that. Oh, wow. So they really get it. Dang. I didn't know that. I didn't think about that part. Double dipping. So as far as... Well, it, I'm glad they're both alive, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's the big thing. Keep them healthy and kicking. That's what we like. So... so right on. So what, what questions you got? Yeah, so this is a single family or is this like a condo? It's an attached villa. It's like a condo. It's a single family. Okay, perfect. And then uh, would I need yeah, to... Three bedrooms, three baths. Okay, three bed, three baths. Okay. And then do I need to do any repairs or anything, or would it be pretty much move-in ready? It's move-in ready. The um, the association fees cover all the external maintenance. So, um, you know, they, they handle that. They handle the sprinkler system, the lawn mowing. The landscaping, snow removal, all that stuff is hit covered by the by the association. Oh, uh, okay. And then what is the HOA fees there? Uh they are um four sixty five a month. Four sixty five a month. Okay, perfect. And so they don't have any other restrictions or anything other than just being over the uh, uh age limit. Is that correct? That's correct. 55 and older. Okay, so as long as it's 55 and over, it can be a rental, though. I, I'm not aware of that either way, quite frankly. Oh, okay, because I know some HOAs don't allow rentals or they want it to be homeowner occupied only. And so sometimes it kind of right. changes things up. Um, That's a good question. What's your name, sir? My name is Chris. And uh, so, yeah, I, I'm looking to buy a couple of more houses in, uh, you know, out in this area. Uh, we usually buy probably uh -huh. probably two deals a month, something like that. So we buy them usually for cash or we are able to structure creative deals, too, if that's uh, something that is a better option. Now, it says here you're looking to get five seventy five for it. Is that correct? That's correct. All right. And then how did you come to that number? I'm just curious. Um, recent sales in the subdivision. Okay, so they sell for about five seventy five over there. 
Yeah, the, the last one my mom told me listed at five fifty and went for well above that. So Wow. So that's good. <laughs> Is there a reason you don't uh, yeah. keep the real estate agent or something with it or Well they they've been selling, you know, pretty quickly, just trying not to pay a real estate agent, you know, six yeah. percent or seven percent or whatever. But I'd try it on my own. I've sold a couple houses before. Say it's not that hard, is it's it? It's in great condition. Yeah. Well, uh, so you don't get the you don't get the um, the coverage that an MLS listing would get you, right? Exactly. Yeah, it only gets certain people that see it on Zillow or things like that. Right. But I only need one, you know, ultimately, and I thought I'd try it for a while. And perfect. perfect. Been getting lots of calls. I had a few showings. You know, so and so, what kind of timeline are you it's on? All good. If you if we were able to agree on a price and everything, how soon would you like to close and be done with it? Oh, well, tomorrow. It's in, it's um, it's ready to roll. Okay. Um, five seventy five. I think for us to buy it as a cash deal, we probably have to get a little less than that. Um, did you have any wiggle room on it, or is that pretty firm? I'm open to offers, sir. Okay. You know. Uh, let me pull it up, up here real quick. Yeah, I see that something did sell for five fifty. Um, something else sold for four ninety. Yeah, so they do sell around that amount there. Yeah. Um, so I mean, yeah, we... it's got a finished lower level. It's got finished lower level nine hundred square feet. You got a big bedroom down there and a bath. It is um, former model home, so all the closets are are fancied up with additional you know shelving and storage and so forth it's a again it's it's a nice a nice place okay so i mean if we came in closer i mean we to be honest as a cash deal we're probably closer to around five hundred thousand. is that something you think you would consider i don't know if i'd be willing to go that low this quickly because it's only been on you know it's only been listed for like a week and a half what is the best you think you can do on but, a um, cash price? No commissions, and uh, we get this thing done for you. No, uh, would you do five fifty? Five fifty. Yeah, that's exactly what another one sold for, and that's like I said, we're investors, so we we buy them, but we really don't buy them necessarily as a cash deal at full blown retail. Because we would actually lose money doing that, right? Um, but if there was a so way, you're looking we could, to flip it or rent it, uh, we keep all the properties most of the time. So we okay. So as a flip, we would have to buy it even cheaper, and I don't want to do that to you. We'd have to be in a four hundred. Right. Range. No, that's why I'm asking you. That's yeah. Good. So just as a whole, so you, you know, buy it to rent it out. Then yeah, we would hold it long term uh, if if it uh, works out that way. Um, and, 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 you know, go, play the long game and appreciate and maybe sell it in two or three years if it goes up in value. Something like that, you know? Uh-huh. Is there... Um, sure, there's only a couple of those 55 communities out there you know, in that area. So they, um, they're pretty popular. So the biggest thing is, one, we would need to make sure that we could rent it. I mean, that would be the elephant in the room. And then secondly, we would have to agree on a price. So if there was a way that we can come up to 550000 or something pretty close to that, if we had to structure something creative, is that something you would be open to? Are you looking for the best dialer to reach your leads? Try OnlineBurnerPhone.com. You can reach four times more contacts per hour and build a stronger, more engaged pipeline. Now, when you check this out at OnlineBurnerPhone.com, you no longer have to listen to voicemail recordings once you hear they pick up by voicemail you simply press a button and it leaves your personalized voicemail for your prospect you can also send personalized emails you can also retarget your contacts and guess what all calls are recorded and tracked for quality and training purposes try it out today with no credit card onlineburnerphone.com onlineburnerphone.com but the biggest thing is one, we would need to make sure that we could rent it. I mean, that would be the elephant in the room. And then secondly, we would have to agree on a price. So if there was a way that we can come up to 550,000 or something pretty close to that, if we had to structure something creative, is that something you would be open to? In terms of creative, what do you mean, sir? 
Uh, so basically what we've done in the past in situations like this is we would uh, get you the price that you want and what we would do is give you some now and the rest over time where you can be able to go ahead and sell the house and generate some money for it, elevating you from being a landlord to being just like the bank. And all you would do is collect payments and those payments can pay basically pay for your parents as they're in that uh, senior living. So it basically would solve your problem quickly and easily just depending on if we could structure something that made sense. Yeah, I think I'd, I'd rather go with the cash deal. I know it might not be as much, but um, we'll probably stay away from the, the lease to own or payment type brand. Yeah, so it wouldn't be a necessary a lease to own. We would actually buy the house, go through title, just like any other transaction. Uh, we would just structure it in a way to where your parents or you or whoever you would have set up on there uh, would basically become just like a lien holder. You would be just like the bank. The same thing that Bank of America does to buy or finance right. you would get that same uh paperwork and it would go through just like any other transaction but you would be selling it for all intents and purposes we would pay taxes insurance uh take over hoa fees property maintenance anything deals with that house is no longer your problem all your job is to do is collect checks and uh not have to deal with the property anymore just the easy way to sell your house that's all i got you yeah at this point i think i'll stick with the cash feel and again i've had other folks come see it and and have interest so so what got I'll, another guy that's looking go ahead i'm sorry yeah so what i'll do uh tom here is i'll i'll do some research see what we can do as, as far as a cash offer and then i'll also send you some information on a creative offer as well just so you can have it in your back pocket and you can explore later if that comes to play if not if you get it sold before that no harm no foul other than that did you have any other questions for me today before i let you go not that no, not that I know of, Chris. I say I'd love to sell the house to you, and we're um we're actively marketing it. So okay, so what I'm going to do after this be call, hearing back from you sooner than later. All right, I'm going to text you after this call. That'll have my information and everything. If you can just text back your email address, I'll get you something in writing, so you'll have something to just uh, ponder over and go with. See what you can go with from there. Okay. Hey, that sounds great, my friend. Appreciate you calling. All right. Other than that, you have a good day. Thank you. You too, sir. Right, Bye-bye. Bye. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. So, uh, as I always teach and preach, most people we talk to already are going to say no to terms. But what I'm going to do is send him an LOI, letter of intent. It's already pretty much pre-made. It's a template. We just fill in what makes sense to them. Uh, and then we would give them a cash offer, which I am going to probably put it in the 400s range. Then I'm going to give them a creative offer around that 550 part that he wants. And, uh, you know, see if we can struck a, strike a deal with it. He says no for now, but he might say yes later. But we always want to send the offer if somebody is even open to hearing it. Because he might say no now and times may change. He might need the money. So I'm going to send him a text right now. It was great speaking to you today, Thomas. Learn more about us at our website. Please send the best email address for you, Chris. Boom. Boom. So I'm going to send him that. And once he sends back his email, we'll send him that letter of intent. So what do you think about that guy? Did he have any motivation whatsoever? Is this a deal or no deal? Is this a should I buy or say bye bye? We don't know. We're going to find out. So this is in a great area. The only elephant in the room, though, like I said, is can we rent it or does it have to be a homeowner occupied? I should have asked him to check into that. Matter of fact, that was his homework. I like to give him homework. I, I, after he sends his email, I will send him that to say, find out if you can rent this or it has to be owner occupied. Then I'll get him that offer and see if we can make a deal. So for those that don't know, my name is Chris Monroe. It's the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke. I'm out of St. Louis, Missouri. I'm doing some calls today, talking to homeowners, trying to see if we can uh, strike a deal and uh, pay a bill. So we're going to keep it going here. I think I got a couple more. Any questions, comments, concerns about that particular property with Thomas? Spoke. Find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. 
that's the MLS for you real estate agents, absentee owner information, find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide, pull a pre foreclosure list, and don't forget, you gotta find those comps, get nationwide access with multiple filters, powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven day free trial today, WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com.